on. You son of a bitch. This is your Vox AC15 C1. And you're telling me that you're getting some extraneous noise even with all the volumes down. Well, let's get the volumes down. I have not plugged this in ever. This is us doing this together. Let's get the current limiter on. And... So I saw what was happening immediately. Let me get you down here and focus on, <laughs> focus on this area. Let's see if I can get you in there. So even without it uh, being warmed up, let's hope that the issue is uh, limited to these uh, tubes and you, you don't have you know, a shorted filter cap or anything else that might be um, causing this issue here so just have a quick look that's all you need to see so let's get her opened up bye all right having removed an insane amount of hardware to access this rear panel looking at a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen perhaps seventeen uh fasteners we now have access to the EL84 tubes, which are uh, causing us some grief at the moment. So let's get in there. Um, let's have a better look at what uh, shorting output tubes look like. This is what we're dealing with here. Um, it almost looks like, is this dust or is there a little bit of lost vacuum here? There's not. Um, let's take another uh, quick peek at this uh, again. We're current limited. Um, you could probably see uh, the rectifier here. Hopefully um, we're not having any issues with that or the filter caps here. But I, I do kind of like the way uh, Vox made them, uh, I would say, somewhat readily accessible. So let's take a quick peek at what that might look like. So here we go. Three, two, one. And it looks like It looks like I need to plug it in. So, portrait of the sleep deprived, huh? I need to leave that in there. Okay, so, and I'll just do it from the, the panel here. So, three, two, one. We can see the Filament supply here is still functional. And this tube here is shorting out. So let's remove these. Let's see what's up. It looks like this was reflowed, uh, the solder joints here along the top, unless they're using, oh, look at that. So you could probably see that little spot here. Yeah, you can see that. See that little shiny spot there? You have an, um, a little aperture there through the, the plate structure uh, through which some of the uh, material was being ejected as, as it was shorting. And then here as well on the back side, you can see that. Let's take a look here. Wow, and this guy right here is just completely roasted. Look at that. Look at the silk screening. Okay, a new pair of power tubes uh, was the order of the day. 
and we're in business. You have a stable power supply. Everything's checking out great. However, you do have quite a bit of a buzz in a reverb circuit. Let's see if I can get this going. This is reverb halfway up. 100%. Say 10% right here. So let me see if I can do anything to address that and then I'll get back to you. Bye. All right, Dylan, you are good to go, brother. I have resolved your reverb issue. Um, sometimes we can't uh, paint by numbers. Um, it looks like the last dude that was in here had uh, matched up the cable uh, colors to the jack colors, the plugs versus the jacks, um, red and white. Um, it doesn't always line up, so I reversed that. You now um, have a very quiet and beautiful sounding reverb circuit. Um, this is probably one of the nicest sounding AC15 C1s I've ever heard. I love this little green back in there. So chimey. Perfect mids. Single coil noise here. That's nothing. There it is. It's kind of close to your amp. But man, this thing loves my strat. Love this thing. Some sympathetic vibrations um, from around the shop is what we're hearing. But man, beautiful, beautiful sound amp.
Beautiful, buddy.